Uh, adversity, man. It's the word of the month. Um, ironically, the last time we spoke, I was on the mend. I was feeling good about where I was at. I felt like the kidney stone stuff was behind me. I was getting into a training rhythm and everything has had kind of this up and down wave where shortly after that, literally the next day, I was training and, sorry, my doctor's calling so I should probably take that and see what he's got to say. Hello my friend. Hey, how's it going? Not too shabby. Hopefully hey, so that's my last hospital visit in a while. I really hope so. Yeah. So as I suspected, um, you have now passed every single remaining stone that you had in your kidney. Really? So you sh we shook everything up basically, and, and that's probably why you were having that post post op issue. Huh? So I yes, the left kidney still has stones. Those are still because we haven't messed with the left side. The right kidney has no stones now. Wow. So that's crazy. The, you that's did, what you were passing. There were like were four passing. to five other yeah. significant four, stones four, in there. Four, yeah, four or five. Wow. Um, so, so you're stone free on that side. So the procedure somehow caused all of those to exit I either while I had this. It's yeah, I guess it's possible. Wow. The stent could have caused it or you know, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean that's good news. Folks that pass the renal stones. Yeah. Huh. Wow, so... I guess overall that's good news. Right. Um, your, your kidney looks completely healthy and normal. There is no swelling anymore. Great. Um, so that is resolved and I expect your kidney function to be normal also. Okay, man, that makes me feel better. I think you're good. Cool. Um, you're freaking clear and <laughs> good luck with the competition. Yeah, thank you, man. I will keep you posted if anything else somehow springs back up, but hopefully that's not the, the case. The left side doesn't cause a problem. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, Doc. I appreciate that very much. See ya. Well, that is interesting news. So, I'll try to make a long story short. I had had an 8 millimeter kidney stone that had left my right kidney, gotten stuck on the way down, and I had a procedure that broke that up into pieces and removed that particular stone. All they did was break up that one. When they had done the scan to find that one, they saw that in my kidney I had four or five other stones that they said may never pass my entire life or may one at a time make their way out whenever just by chance. And so what he just said, some unlikely thing happened where I guess after the procedure removing the eight millimeter stone and they put a stent in to kind of open everything up and clear out the residual of that one, he said that the four or five others that were in my kidney also happened to pass, which explains the delayed pain that I was having, because I guess I was passing additional stones, and the blood in my urine, which happens when you're passing stones as well. So I guess that's like a blessing in disguise. I went through a little bit of additional discomfort, but I got rid of all the stones that are currently in my kidneys. So free and clear I guess um, as I was saying before though it had been this like seemed like I was kind of getting over it and then something else would spring up where I had the procedure was on the mend everything was going well and then a week after the procedure I got this extreme kidney pain and then finally the pain went away and I got into this training rhythm and then after a training session I was peeing blood again and it's like what is going on it just never ended but now I guess the CT scan shows that it will be over I haven't peed blood in a few days I haven't had pain in a few days the the cherry on top to all of it I was gonna say the day after we had filmed the video where I was talking about finding that training rhythm again I tweaked my shoulder and my shoulder has been bugging me for about a week and it's just another obstacle something that I've had to work around in prep for the West Coast Classic but now that the kidney issue is hopefully resolved, my shoulder is on the mend, I'm getting there. Um, I'm hoping I can find that positive momentum and rhythm again. We're about a week out from the competition and hopefully that's all the time I need to get the confidence that I need to go out and execute and earn a spot to the CrossFit Games. Once that's over, 
I can make sure that my body's fully healthy, my shoulder, my kidney, my everything, and just really dig in for about a month and a half before competing at the games. So that's where we're at. It's been a, a rocky road, but hopefully that makes it all the more worth it at the end of the season. So now that we've left the hospital, hopefully that is behind us. I'm hoping that's my last visit for a long time. The rest of the day is full of some phone calls. I've got a couple business calls. I've got a call with my mental performance coach and a swim session. And then just kind of some recovery, relaxation. It is a Thursday and my Thursdays are usually packed full of all those things. But a lot of times, on a lot of you guys, I notice when I would tell somebody to activate their shoulder blades, um, everyone uses their rotator cuffs. <laughs> like everyone likes to pull their elbows back, yeah, force like their the elbows track. together. That's yeah. what I used to do when I was deadlifting. I first started CrossFit, I was like, in order to keep my back tight, I need to do this. And then I would automatically do that position, and then I learned that it was like more of that low yeah. 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 track. Yeah. Retraction, squeezing down almost with your lats. Yeah. It's a bit of a factor, but I snatched yesterday relatively heavy and it felt okay. A little uncomfortable just because it's tight. Yeah. I could feel the tension and I could feel a little bit of instability, okay. but it wasn't bad. <laughs> Good luck. What's up, man? See you guys. Thanks for the help. All right, we wrapped all the business calls, got to take Max for a little walk, and there's no fitness being done at the gym today, but I stopped by, had my shoulder worked on a little bit, and now we are heading to the pool for a little swim session. Let's go. How are you feeling? Good, good. Yeah? Yeah, much better. I'll tell you when you come back. Cool. We are at the pool with Miss Lauren Fisher and Alexis Rackus. We're gonna do some swimming, kinda some unstructured stuff because my shoulder had been bugging me. I'm gonna test it out. And if it feels good, then we'll come up with something fun and functional. Five hundo then. Should we start when? Two thirty or two thirty. down. Who knows how much more to go. Yeah, we're just going to do a little rotation. One of us 
us is gonna do a 50 kick only, one of us is gonna do 50 pull only, and one of us will do a regular 50 swim, and then we'll just rotate through that so that we each do one of the different movements, um, three to five rounds. Here we go, 10 seconds. See y'all on the other side. Three, two, one. You know what they say. Last one, this one. Here we go. Yeah. That was kind of tough. Yeah. Just having to push it. A lot of rest. Not much. Yeah, the uh, the 25 seconds of rest that at the beginning I was like, ah, it's plenty. It ticked away so fast. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? There's only 10 seconds left. <sighs> All right, that is it for today. Pretty interesting out of the gym day. We had a uh, hospital visit. Got some work done, hung out with Max, ate some good food, got some swimming in, and uh, hopefully all recovered and ready to go for a good training session tomorrow. A week from today, we'll be one day out from competing. I'm finally starting to get excited now that my body is healthy again. It is allowing me to start to feel those pre-competition um, butterflies, but in a really good way. I'm excited to get back on the floor. I'm excited to have fans in the stadium, and I'm excited to go do my thing. So check back in in a week, and we'll see you out on the competition floor at the West Coast Classic.